Welcome friends. It looks like we are live here again for Tidy Up Tuesday. Welcome, welcome both on Facebook and YouTube. We're here for another edition to talk about yet another thing we can do in our craft room to help us get organized and kind of figure out what to do with all our stuff. I know sometimes that's one of the biggest challenges we have, right, is what do we do once we have collected all of these things to do, all of these fun activities. So if you are new here, welcome. We are just going to talk a little bit about how to organize today and this whole series. We're just taking little small chunks as we go. And I see we're coming through. We've got Facebook. Annette's here from Facebook. Mary's here from uh, YouTube. Yudi, Jean, Debbie. The sound. My sound is not on. <laughs> okay. How's it? How is it? Is the sound on? I'm hoping. Um, I'm going to wait just a sec to see. It looks like my microphone is working. But <laughs> All right. Facebook sound is fine. Thank you, Annette. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. And Yudi's from YouTube, so she says sound is fine. Okay, good. Welcome, welcome back. My name's Lauren Hines, and I am so... Oh, everybody's saying hello. Okay, now we're going too fast, but welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone who is joining today. So it is a rainy, beautiful, rainy, rainy day here in Southern California, so I'm so excited. <laughs> That's okay, Debbie. Um, and um, great. And Jody can hear me all the way in Australia. So I love it. We are going to, before we end today, I just want to say, you reminded me, um, my Aussie friends, I have to say, I love that you call carts trolleys. Okay. I just, I love all the little, you know, nuances and things. And we have been having so much fun taking a look at, you know, that really is my favorite organizer in my craft room is my carts. I have two. But now that I've seen everybody's photos, it's like, oh my gosh, you can do so much with carts. So if you haven't yet taken a look at the POP Facebook group, that's the Progress on Projects Facebook group. There are some ma amazing, amazing organizational carts in there, and we've been having a lot of fun. And today, I am going to do a drawing for two $50 gifts, um, depending whether you're in the States or where you are, how that's going to get delivered to you. And uh, we are going to do that at the end. So I have everybody's name on the wheel. So you got to stay tuned to see who's the winner. Okay, so... Um, Okay, okay, so it looks like, <laughs> thank you. All right, so um, <laughs> I love it. So My Scrapped Life, who, I, I missed your name. What's your name? She says she's, uh, she loves the series. She's been staying up till 4 a.m. the past several nights watching the pe previous episodes. Thank you. That's so sweet. I love it. Um, okay, so hello, hello, friends, and Kelly says she added a basket. I know. Don't you want to just kind of keep adding things once you see <laughs> all the little things that you can put in carts? So there's some awesome ideas. If you want to check more of that out, just pop into the Progress on Projects Facebook group. It's a group for everyone. And uh, Mary Smith and I uh, run that group. Mary really does help out tremendously. I try to get in there as much as I can to kind of read. So today I was popping around and here's the thing. I actually came across um, a post and it really made me think. And so Andy, this was Andy Baker. She wrote a post from a while ago and she goes, you know, sometimes I feel like I spend so much time organizing and all I want to do is work on my scrapbooks, um, time and money. And, and you know what? I take that to heart. Like I don't, feel bad about that because I do talk a lot about organizing. But here's the thing I found is if I don't have a plan, if I don't have structure, if I don't have a way that I'm going to, you know, do my things, do the things I love, 
I get all mixed up <laughs> and and I may spend a whole lot of time either, you know, looking, say I have to look for something that I, I thought I had or not knowing what project I want to work on or not knowing what is most important to me. And so sometimes I do think it's important to back that up a little bit and just go at least have an idea about what's important to you so that the time that you're spending is on time is on projects that are meaningful to you and that's actually one of the main reasons you know i develop progress on projects which is that facebook i was telling you about so we do more than just talk about carts in there <laughs> there's a whole video series on youtube that is my progress on project series and that really was the brainchild of just going I'm really frustrated. I have way too many photos. I don't know what to do. I don't know which direction to go in. And it's been this really interesting process to kind of distill everything down and go, what's most meaningful for me as a crafter and mostly as a scrapbooker, what's most meaningful? And how do I make progress and do the things that um, more meaningful for me and that I want to leave as a legacy for my family because I got really caught up in that cycle of let me just make stuff it's so fun to make stuff <laughs> right and then I'm like do all my kids want all this stuff that I'm making like so now I have such a different focus where I'm really focusing on the things that I want to leave like I said that I want to leave as a legacy also, that bring me a lot of joy to do, but, uh, you know, I don't want to overwhelm my family with the things that I leave behind, too. So, ha, there we go. Should I get off my soapbox now? <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, anyhow, thank you all for joining me. Today, we are going to talk about one of my favorite other organizers, which is notebooks. And... <laughs> I have so many things in notebooks. Hey, there's Diane and Sue's here, Sandy. Oh, Teresa's here. Oh, Darlene. Ah, oh, Lori and Dana from My Scrapped Life. I love it. Okay, so thank you all for saying hello. Let's talk a little bit about, first of all, um, the what I the types of binders that I have in my room and I know when I when I first started making videos you you guys actually got to see one of my binders last week which was my punch inventory binder and when I first started making it these notebooks were available and they short shortly after I started making videos and showing my notebooks um, they sold out so these are you know I'll get that off the top but I still have these in my um, craft room they're oh sorry guys that these are the Wilson Joan workforce workforce binders I believe and um, they are no longer available unless you happen to have gotten them but I found my replacement okay so you'll see a lot of these in my in my room because I still have them but this is my favorite replacement and these are still available and they are the blue sky binders. I get them in packs of six <laughs> because um, I, I love binders for lots of things, as you can see. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go through what I put in the binders. And then the other one is the Creative Memories Sort and Stash. And this is a big baby. This one's big, as you can see. So this is the CM Sort and Stash binder. And so I, what I've done is decided in my room, what can I, how can I kind of divvy things up into manageable chunks? And then that's really what these binders are helpful for, um, in my opinion. Okay, so let me give you just, oh, and I forgot to say, Welcome, and let's talk about using binders for organization. That's what we're talking about today. Okay, so if you haven't already found me in different places, you can find me in all these places. And oh, and Leslie says she, I got her to fall in love with her camera again. That I love, love hearing it. So thanks. And Susanna is a newcomer. Welcome, welcome. Um, Tell us again about the notebook that I just showed. This one, <laughs> the punch inventory binder. Okay, so 
I, I am going to share what's in my notebooks today. So um, I'm going to switch over to the... <laughs> to the overhead and Cherie says she loves the black binders so um I do too and um okay so let's talk about um and Julie loves the CM binders but beyond that she's <laughs> her, her kids school old old school binders and that's awesome I you know absolutely repurpose my kids trash their <laughs> binders when they're done so Here's the thing. Let's take a look at where these binders live in my room, and then we're going to talk about what's inside of them. Okay, so the first one is, um, this is a photo where you can see I have two cubbies behind me and to the left. So they're still, you know, very easy to grab hold of. And what I love about these new Recollections um, cubes is that they are big enough to uh to sorry <laughs> to to fit the sort and stash binders okay hold on one moment one moment hey i'm doing the live are you leaving okay do you have chains yeah Matthew does? Okay, be safe. I love you. Okay, bye. All right, so um, all the mamas out there, all the mama bears know I, I had to I had to just <laughs> touch base for one second. I, I apologize. Um, my son's leaving. He's uh, getting ready to go up to the snow, which is so exciting. Okay, I wanted to make sure um, they had chains. Okay, so... <laughs> We Southern Californians, we're just so not prepared for rain and snow. <laughs> okay, um, so thank you guys for letting me just take that really quick. Um, so there are the the sort and stash. They fit in the new cubbies. Now, if you have the old Recollections cubes, they will not fit. These are these are tall. Um, binders but next to it you can see these are those are the black binders I was just showing you okay and um, <laughs> yeah I know the got to do the mama job right Sandy um, so uh, the album in a day you can see there scrap with me times three card ideas border ideas you know all those that's kind of my little idea cubby so um i like keeping a stash of you know if you find a good um uh, uh, idea on the blog and different things so I'll, I'll i'll share a few of those so um so that's what i love though is you can see the sort and stash now i have four binders in one cubby and I probably could fit a fifth. These new uh, cubes from Michaels, they're 16 by 16. So that's what I would recommend is um, either four or five of those binders. Now they get heavy. And so one of the things I had to do was um, my ABC stash where you can see that little tag on the side. My ABC stash got really big and it was just too heavy for me to pull that binder out. So I kind of divvied it up. And um, so that's what I actually had three of those binders are ABCs and I'll share what that looks like inside. One thing before I switch to the next photo is um, I know people have been saying, how do you label these? I found these little labels. They are stick-on metal labels, and I will leave a link on my favorite things page. I found a similar one, I believe, on Amazon. And, um, you, you know, you could, so they're metal, and then you just slide the, um, like where I have written ABCs, you just slide that in. And um, so you could actually put a little more tacky glue on there if you needed to. And um, no, they don't, Linda. So they don't come with those. I added those on. And um, and the thing is, the, um, the fabric is, like, it's hard. Like, you can't stick vinyl to it <laughs> It's because it's fabric. So this is the one thing that I've kind of found to label the side. And I know people were kind of interested. But if you have another 
idea, please let me know or leave it in the chat for other people or in the comments to the video um, of how you label the sort and stash binders because I, I know people would love to see that. So that was just something that I found, these little metal name plates. So um, like I said, I'll leave a link for you on my favorite things page, on my Amazon page. And um, and I did, uh, these were from a, a eons ago, but I did just order them off of Amazon. And, um, and okay, so Linda says she used her label maker, awesome. <laughs> Debbie, I'm always looking for those gadgets, let me tell you. Okay, so let me show you, I also have two other cubbies which hold my blue binders. So we've just talked about I'm so sorry. Yes, I still use my blue binders, but they are not available. The black ones are available. Um, and you guys saw, like I mentioned, the punch inventory binder, but some of my other favorite binders live on this shelf. And that's the one that says titles. And then I have to find my white pen that makes that writes like this. It's the Posca paint pen. I have misplaced it to label my other favorite, which um, I did pull out to share with you. And I had one binder for all my sticker titles and laser titles. And then I was realizing um, because Creative Memories kept coming out with awesome later laser titles, I had to get another binder. So the, the one that's not labeled, that will say laser titles on it. Okay, and then I have my punch inventory binder um, and some different ones. Now, I have one other shelf that's underneath that one, and I have just a few more because for all you planner people, one of the very, very first videos I did was how to organize your planner stickers, and um, I took them all out of... Um, I, I used a lot of the Happy Planner stickers. I took them all out and I and I categorized them based on what I was needing in my planner. Now these days, I don't have a whole lot of time to play with my planner anymore, <laughs> but way back, I used to love to do that. So I have like sayings and seasonal, shapes and colors, productivity and dates, and I have a video on that. So if you're interested in more about planner stickers, just look up one of the um, planner, the, how to organize your planner sticker video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now kind of switch over to take a look inside real time into some of these um, notebooks. So, um, and okay, so Mary says she's new but found a lot of helpful stuff. So that's awesome. Okay. You guys, I have stacks of binders right next to me. So um, let's take it a little bit at a time. Last week, um, actually, I'm going to start here and then I'm going to go blue binders and then I'll go into the sort and stash. So these are the binders that are available now. And let me just tell you a little bit. So they have the window in it. The other thing that I liked is that they're soft. And for me, like if you are, you know, working on your craft space and, um, and you know, are kind of doing stuff, then one of the things you can do is actually go ahead and fold that top back to make a smaller footprint. And they do have pockets and a pen holder, and it's about an inch ring. That's one thing I would suggest is that when you're getting your binders, make sure it's at least about an inch big. Uh, um, or larger and then um, what you put in it is you know kind of all up to you one of the things I of course this is one of my favorite uses for a binder is my pop inserts and and if you've been to my website you know I have a lot of these available for download and different sizes either the happy uh, the classic happy planner size or I have eight and a half by 11, which is notebook size. And I'm telling you now that I wish, now that I've kind of, you know, I'm, this is part of my pop series. I, I um, do a lot of teaching. So I've moved to an eight and a half by 11 book, but boy, do I wish I had kind of started in this larger format. So last month we talked about, or this, or yeah, last month, digital workflow. And I'm, I'm actually, I hope you guys are loving that tracker because I really am. 
There's also album in a day. Uh, this is another class I taught. And so, you know, just more handouts, you can put those in here. And then one thing I want to share with you is if you do, if you are good with vinyl, <laughs> right? This font, this is one of my favorite fonts. It's called Roboto Slab, R-O-B-O-T-O -O Slab, S-L-A-B. It's the same font that I put on my Creative Memories albums. So I um, just brought that into um, Design Space or Silhouette Studio, and then you can create your own um, basically alphabet stickers to stick on here in vinyl. The, um, the one thing I would recommend is that you get permanent. Now, I, I think some of mine I was using, I just grabbed some white and it was repositionable vinyl and they don't stick. They're kind of, you know, some of them have come off. So just get a permanent if you want to stick them on this um, vinyl. But that's what I think looks really nice. Sorry, I'll go this way on the bookshelf. And I chose big, right? So <laughs> I can see it at a glance. And here's another one. So this one is my border ideas. So they look pretty cool when they're stacked up on the bookshelf. And so these are just vinyl, white vinyl that I cut um, from, you know, any cutter. Any, pr pretty much any cutter could handle this, whatever um, one you have. I also do have, this is a, a free download if you like the Eat, Sleep, Craft, Repeat. And this one I just stuck in here because there's a sleeve. You can put fun things in there. This is the one, another favorite. I know we just got that awesome new 101 or 110 border ideas, but I had kind of already started my own 100 and bajillion border ideas. So whenever I saw something on the blog that I thought, oh, I love that. And remember, I always look at it as a pattern, as a sketch, as a formula, rather than just something to copy. Um, then I, I would just print it out and stick it in here. That's me. I'm very visual. I love seeing the the finished border and then just being able to flip through it. Some of them I didn't print very big, but you can see here, these, I think 98% of these came from the blog and you've probably seen me work with some of these on some of my, if you've been around for a long time on my past Friday night scrapbooking. So that's, this is just one of my favorite binders because you can do border ideas. I have sketch ideas. I have card ideas, you know, so whatever kind of inspiration you need, binders are a perfect place to put that, right? So um, <laughs> just, you, and that's hyperventilating <laughs> again over the cart. So I know binders, you can use binders for so many things, right? So these are just a few that um, I have for, for my black binders, um, as you know, Scrap With Me times three, uh, Noreen, Kylie, and I did that for a while together, all three of us. Then, as you know, Noreen has taken a job with Creative Memory, so it's just Kylie and I. So I have a binder with all of our ideas in there from that series, and um, it has all the sketches and so forth. And so, you know, just think of what what you can use um, and, and how you can store those. Okay, so let me move these off and get a little more room. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Oh, layout ideas, card ideas, yeah, sketches, you know, the whole thing. So, and then here's that, as I, as you saw in the video, scrap with me times three, right? And we even gave you a download that you can use for the front of your binder if you want. So, um, and then you could put the different tabs in here for uh, if you like the different um, uh, instructions from all, all of us. We each kind of have a little different style. So there's the, the scrap with me layout. Okay, so that was just one last notebook. Let's move on and talk a little bit about my blue notebooks. <clears throat> So as I mentioned last week, we talked a lot about the punch inventory binder. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about this one, but other, other than just saying if, you know, and you can watch more about how um, this is organized, but it's a one 
stop shop for <laughs> kind of a record keeping of all of your punches. And, um, and it's a physical, you know, it's a physical punch. So border punches, um, standalone punches, border maker cartridges, all of that, you can just have kind of a, um, a sample in here. Oh, I do want to mention, <clears throat> we talked about adding, you know, to double duty. These are baseball card sleeves to double duty, adding a little piece of white in between. Someone mentioned, oh yeah, just use copy paper and that will be even thinner. And I love that idea. So just, you know, cut up a piece of copy paper, pop them in between, and then you can kind of see the patterns from two different sides. Your, your sleeves will go twice as far, right? With that idea. Okay, so that is the punch inventory binder. I am going to share my next favorite and um, let's see it's right here this this um, I don't even know how this idea came to me but I've when I finally did it it may have been from Janet at RTS kind of sparked something um, because I was watching how she was organizing some of her things and then I thought you know as, and I was doing a major craft room overhaul. This was three years ago, friends. So when, when I was first looking at all of my stuff and going, what, what can, how can I get to what I need? And this has been a huge game changer. So this is called my title binder. And this one is just stickers. So if you... Um, and, and I did a video on this one. So if you've been watching for a while, this is nothing new. I also have a blog post and I'm going to share how to get to that in just a sec. But what I did is um, I found a source on Amazon that has amazing, this is called sticker backing paper. Okay. So what this is, is the same, it's, it's actually the same stuff that our stickers come on, right? when we get them on a sheet. And so you can stick, basically stick and re-stick because this is just the same stuff as, you know, like as these sheets that our stickers come on. And so what I ended up doing was getting all of my stickers. They were everywhere. So they were, um, remember old ones, if you've been in with CM for a while, we had uh, different palettes and they had different sayings in there. Like how many cherish did you remember? You know, it's like the word cherish. So all of those words now are on one sheet. So if I'm looking for kind of, you know, a word, a sticker word, then... Um, you can now just find it in your book. So there's a lot of different categories in here. I'm not going to go through all of them because I have a blog post that details all of this. But say I'm looking for birthday. Look at all this. I have all these birthday. And the nice thing about some of these are really like those thin ones, the um, clear from old CM. So these, right? you can just, like I said, you can take them off, right? And go, oh, is that the one I want? No, I think I'll just save that. Maybe I want this one or this one. And then you can reuse the sticker backing paper. Now these are double-sided. The one that I have linked on Amazon is double-sided. Um, but like if you have mailing envelope what do you call them? Like if you do mailings or you know somebody who does mailings, it's the same kind of thing. Like when you peel off your mailing label and you get that backing paper, you could use that too. That's just one sided though. So, um, but you know, it's free basically after you're, you're done with your labels. Okay. So this is just kind of a, a quick little flip through. So everything's categorized. It did take a little time to do this. And so this is another one of those things like put on your favorite show or sit and watch a movie or whatever. And then just, you know, un 
stick gather all your stickers and and categorize them but it has made a huge difference in how i can now find those words so anything that's words or sayings those go in here and um and those go in here now okay so pat actually has a good question so do I remove the title stickers from a collection, say Golden Harvest, and place in the sticker and title binder? Or do I keep them in the collection? So the most part, this was a purge of old inventory, Pat, that I, from the palettes and all of those different, um, you, you remember what they, they were packs of like three title stickers, right? And they were all mixed up, all just kinds of different words all together and I could never find what I was looking for. So that's this. Right now, with the collections, I'm keeping the the title stickers with the collection, say Golden Harvest, with that collection at the moment because those are all kind of um, designed to go together. These I felt like some of them, yeah, they were, but they were also just so general that they could um, pretty much go with any layout, a lot of the, the black and brown. So I hope that's helpful. Now, as I use up collections and go, oh, maybe there's not, you know, there's only, there's some title stickers left over, like this would be the catch-all place. In, in my opinion, this would be a catch-all for all those little random little stickers that would need a place to go. Okay, so I hope I hope that helps. Um, so what I used to have in the back, okay, let me just kind of keep going for a second. And there's a couple little um, things I want to share about this too. So in the back, I used to also have, like I said, my laser titles. And I also have for um, all you old CMers, remember our vellum versus, vellum versus, I think that's what it was called, <laughs> vellum versus, where again, these were all just like in little packets. I never knew what I had. It was all so mixed up and I just could never find anything. So these are, um, they call these currency holders. These are long. So like just picture a dollar bill in here. And these are, these are currency holders. And so I did um, insert a piece of cardstock in between so that I could use the front and the back as two separate pockets. And so now what I've done is, um, and so there's currency holders and then there's coupon holders. So for smaller ones, you can use the coupons. Um, longer titles, you can use the currency. So you can kind of see I mix them up. And again, now these are all categorized and I can see them. I think one of the biggest things we've talked about is if you're visual, if you, you need to see, like for me, it's all about, is it, I, I have this much room, I need this color, I need, you know, whatever, whatever. And um, being able to just open something up and look at it, you can go, oh, that's what I need right there. And you can kind of see that. Okay, so these are all the vellum. And so I wanted to make sure to be able to see all of these, which is another reason my next binder um, has all of my laser. Now, before I move off of this, I want to share a couple things. One is, um, I'm going to do a screen share really quick. This is my website. Okay. All things kind of lead back to here, right? So, um, if you go to get inspired, so this is craftsomejoy.com. If you go to get inspired, there's a little drop down, and the first one is blog. Okay, my blog is long neglected, I have to say. I'm not proud of that. <laughs> but this is one of the most popular posts I have on there, and that is sticker organization for title stickers. So if you go over, so when you click on my blog, you know, you can see, um, oh, and there's patch organization, which is what we talked about last week. But you can see these are the posts that I do have up. Um, and then this is the title sticker. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna share, this This actually has some of the die cuts in here. I used to have it all together, but you can see I have a whole post on here and then I even link right to the video 
on how I put that title binder together. And then keep scrolling and here are the categories, okay? So da 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 da, you don't even have to write anything down, it's all right here, okay? So here's all my categories. So if you're, if you're gonna say, Lauren, what was that? Show me again. Nope, it's all right here. <laughs> It's all right here on my blog. Now I wanna share another fun thing and that is, um, I hope this came with me. Let me just go check, yep. So Donna, my sweet Donna, um, posted in the Pop Facebook group. Um, so she's she's been following me for a long time and she put up this great video and she found this neat product. You saw how I had my long, um, 12 inch stickers sticking out the top of my notebook. So I'm just gonna share what Donna put in. She does also have binders. Okay, let me take this down. And then, so you can see this is kind of how she has it organized. I love it. This is her color binder. And I have one like this as well. And so she has these little tabs she's pointing to right now. And um, they, I, I will leave a link for those as well, but they just make, you, you basically you can stick it to the back of your stickers and then you can just pop it into your binder. Is that cool? I just love that. I love it. So that is um, just a little snippet from Donna. And you can, again, see, um, see that I'll have a link. Hey, sweetie. Um, okay, so, oh, Siri thought I was talking to her. Okay, hang on one second, let me come back to you. All right, so I wanted to share the, so that would be what you would end up putting on these things, right? Like in order to stick them in your notebook. Now I just three hole punched mine, the long ones, because um, of course these are too long to fit on the backing paper. But those little nifty things that Donna found, you could just stick on and put them in your binder too. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, hey you guys, guess who's here? Oh. <laughs> Audrey's Hello. here. And can you give her a birthday wish? Because my little girl, is her, it's her birthday today. So, um, I'm Ooh. so happy that she's home visiting. And, um, Anyhow, I just wanted to let you all know that. So, <laughs> there they come. Let me see. Okay, and my software is trying to update while we're while we're talking to. <laughs> there they go. Well, Wishing you, you happy birthday. So, they just came home with a big bouquet of balloons for her. So happy to be here. Okay. So that's title stickers 101. Let me show you the other favorite. Um, and that is, like I said, I moved out all of those um, cut, like um, layered titles, words, and lasers. And I moved those out into their own binder because I was finding I was just getting too many again. So here are once again, same kind of thing. I probably could go through this and spend some more time. All the birthday wishes still coming in, sweetheart. <laughs> um, and do you want to come over here, Reza? Want to okay. say hi? <laughs> come here. Come yeah. here. Just say it. Are you ready? PJs, you got to yeah. have to lean oh. down. You got to lean down. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's my birthday girl. <laughs> I'm too so, tall. I know you're too tall, aren't you? <laughs> um, so she says thank you, friend. So um, here's all the um, lasers. And as you can see, I, I usually buy multiple sets because if I use one, I still want to have another one available, right? So they are all now organized again in the um, coupon organizers. These are the coupon organizers. And then I did put the cards in between again so that I can have a front pocket and a back pocket for these. And this I do love also. You can see I ran out. I had to use the long ones as well. 
Okay, but it does give you that quick glance through so that you can see all your different titles that you have um, just kind of at a, as a glance. Just a quick tip is when you have a lot of the white ones, again, I put gray paper because they're very hard to see on white, but the um, other colors, the colored ones, I just used a white insert. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, there's the blue binder. So we talked about laser titles, sticker titles, punch organization binders, and then you got a sneak peek of Donna's color binder. I also have a color binder as well. Here's that sticker paper again. And this was kind of a, a beginning of... Um, trying to find a home for all of those older stickers that I just couldn't decide to give up just yet. And so I took a lot of these little packs and then, well, the front is kind of my rainbow here. And then these all go in color order. So just like what Donna was showing in her book, um, you know, it, just to get rid of all those little tiny, you guys know what I'm talking about, the little tiny stickers that were like this big. And just to give them a home, I, I have to say, um, um, I, I don't use this as much as my title, title and sticker, title sticker binder or my laser binder. Um, but it is kind of a nice thing to have a home. For these right so and I do realize I scrapbook by color and so if I'm looking for something pink I can just turn here and go oh here's my some pink nondescript just kind of you know just by color not not by theme in here this is just color okay um um Maybe, do you want me to? Okay, all right. Um, vintage stickers, that's your winter project. Yes, exactly, vintage, I love it. They're called vintage. Okay, so that is the color binder and you know, just an idea for you. I know a lot of folks also, you know, just have bins where they can separate these out by colors as well. And that, but, you know, I just, I was on the notebook roll, so I just thought, I'm going to just see how it is with notebooks. So speaking of, I now want to kind of share a little bit about the fill and file. Now you can see the difference in size of these, right? These are much bigger. And um, I, I did get to have a, a short conversation with Sherry from Creative Memory saying, you know what would be really great is to be able to organize all of these things, <laughs> right? And these little binders in here, but we just don't have the inserts necessarily to do that. So I don't know if that might be on the horizon, but we'll see, you know, um, let's see what happens. But one of the first things when I, when they first came out with the fill and file is I thought now, now I have a home for my ABC stickers. And that made me really happy because I, I really did want them in a notebook that I could flip through because they were kind of in a, um, like a paper holder. And I'd always have to be digging through them that way. Again, I love the visual aspect of being able to open something up and just flip through it and be able to, to find what I need. So the main, um, so the, the fill and file, the sort and stash binder holds the fill and file sleeves. And the, the two that I use the most for my ABCs are the full 12 by 12 pocket and then the four up pocket. And some of you guys, I know you have these same stickers, right? <laughs> I know you still have some of these. So now they all have a place. Um, that I could just come in here and go, oh yeah, I need some purple, you know, blue stickers, whatever. And then, oh, this was the third one because this was a, a later ad. These are the um, 
six by 12 sleeves, which hold these ABCs perfectly. The newer format ABCs go perfectly in here. So, um, and sometimes I think it's nice to do letters and then numbers on those if you have the, the space to kind of separate those out. Um, so this just kind of gives you an idea. You'll see some old, old CM stickers in here. But like I said, it gives me a place to put all of those in color, color order again, right? Even dark green all the way up to light green. And, um, and so now I just can kind of flip through and see in color order what I have. Okay, so this was one of my favorite uses for the sort and stash was for my ABCs. I had to pull out my neutrals, um, like my brown, black, and white, because as I mentioned, this was getting too um, heavy for me to pull on and off the shelf. So, um, yeah. So Julie says her is, is nursing at the stand. I, also keep my templates. Yes, I'm glad you said that. Um, and I do still use the old, the, the old CM ABCs. Yeah, I do. Um, some of my favorites are those big monogram ABCs. Boy, do I love those. Love those older ABCs. So Julie mentioned she puts her templates in one of the fill-in files also. So let me actually, let me move this out of the way. And I love that there's a zipper that goes all the way around, which kind of helps keep everything contained. And so um, here's the, my templates. And I, I don't, um, this was another thing that I kind of was, I had all different places in my room and being able to gather all of these into one place, <laughs> bursting, not nursing. <laughs> Got it, Julie. Okay, I know. So that's why I had to, you might have to put that on your wish list, another sort and stash uh, for your ABCs. Okay, or just keep using them up, right? Um, this is template. So being able to bring all of those old templates that I had all different places with not, you know, a good home for it. I loved, again, kind of bringing that into a sort and stash binder. I put my title Topias in here. So those are in the 12 by 12 pockets. I even had um, some, <laughs> do some of you remember these? Oh my gosh, how old are these? I can't get rid of them. I have to store them. So here they are in my templates folder. So these are the um, two by 12. Let's see, is it two or three by 12? Four by 12, four by two, no, three, I can't, three, three, six, nine, 12, three by 12 slots um, that I have these old templates in here. Do you guys have these? Um, at least 25, yeah at least 25 years old. You got it, but can I get rid of them? No. <laughs> How about these? Remember these? These were what? I think they were called doodle somethings. I still have those, but it was a, um, it's a great way to kind of flip through. And <laughs> yes, and yes, we are getting there to the journal. Remember the journal ones? Some of these were going way back down memory lane. Remember this one? Oh, everybody wanted that one. And then now we're getting into the um, project recipe templates um, or the templates, recipe templates, recipe templates. And this is a beautiful place to store those. They are a little on the delicate side. So I think um, that these are a perfect place to store the, the templates. And Sometimes I'll put them in here with the backing just so that I know what the name of it is, but you don't have to. You can save it or you can let that go. Um, but I do kind of like the reference. So I have some of those. This is the um, I Am Grateful re recipe template from last year. And then this one is my favorite. If, you know, I'm not a huge template girl, but I do really love the, um, the ones that are travel related. So those are fun. Okay, and then anybody have these? <laughs> OK, 
okay, who's my, who are my oldies? <laughs> my been around forever. I couldn't get rid of these either. <laughs> oh, they just bring back so many memories of my first scrapbook page. Do you guys have these? <laughs> So that's just a little nostalgia, nostalgia, um, just tucked away in the back of this binder here. Okay. So love that. Love, love. And, and it's stuck on some. Okay. Remember you had to have the blue pencil so you could trace those. Yes, we've come a long, <laughs> we've come a long way. Um, so Steph says she finally got rid of them. Not that I'll ever use them again, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit of history. Okay, so this is my for my templates. Again, the sort and stash. So what I'd love to know is, you know, what are some of the things you guys have put in your binders? What do you like to um, store in here? And um, I think I think that was that was kind of what I had the most important ones to share with you in my binders. So, um, let me come back right here. What do you guys think? That's a lot of binders. <laughs> all right. So, um, <laughs> all right. And some of you still have the blue pencil too. And many of the oldies. I know it's kind of hard to get rid of them. So that's a little bit on binders. Um, and how I use those in my craft room. Remember, before we go, I'm gonna do a little giveaway. So are you guys ready? We, again, were able to talk all about, I'm gonna move you a little closer here so I can reach the computer. We were able to talk all about carts. And once again, I just loved all of your ideas and your excitement for having those things kind of right next to you where you needed to to grab them. And I know it's not the prettiest thing to look at. I, I read some of those posts like, oh, I don't really like looking at all that stuff, but not having it here and not having to open and close drawers all the time really was a big improvement. So I love my cart. I keep, I keep tweaking mine a little bit too. And, um, I know, okay, and I do have some questions. So before we go, I will make sure we get those questions. Let me see. Um, Lori says she loves binders, just need a cutter to make the letters. I know. I I think, you know, you could probably use ABC stickers and just add a little extra glue if, if you don't have access to a cutter. Okay, Lisa has a question. Will the power sort folders fit into the new Michaels cubes. Yeah, that's that's those are those are all power sort folders, these guys. So, um that was my paper organization, right? We all we talked about the new power sorts and um you know, kind of how we use these for rec for organizing our paper stash. Oops. And they fit beautifully. They fit beautifully. So this is my fall, winter. I have it by season and theme. And then up top, you can see I have by color. So yeah, lots of binders, but a great way to store things. I know, yeah, it, it's fun. Okay, um, so let's see, binders, they do take up a lot of um, room. Diane says she used the Totally Tiffany Scrap Rack. And I know that that's a, a lot of, um, I know people enjoy that system too. So you could definitely take a look at that if that might be a better um, solution for you. I, I wouldn't have anywhere to put that. For me, like having a cubby that I can stick notebooks in um, kind of was a, a little bit easier than having like a, a scrap rack. You have to have that footprint in here for that. Okay. Um, all right. Let me just check really quick if there were any other questions. Um, okay, I think we got the questions from Pat about removing the, the stickers from the collection. So after I would use up a collection is when I would take that those last miscellaneous stickers and probably put them in my title binder. Um, and... 
Okay. I think. Um, and Annette says she's ordering on Amazon. Remind me the name of the sheets that you use to put. Um, they are from Stickers and Stuff. Uh, and it's... Mm, I think there's something like sticker collecting paper, but they're the ones from stickers, the letter N, stuff. Um, and do I find that, Laura has a question, do I find that the not having a D ring bends your pages? Most of my notebooks, um, outside of like my pop planner and things, I, I haven't had an issue with it because I have the plastic the coupon holders and things and that doesn't it doesn't bother with that i haven't had a had trouble with the blue sky binders i find those are pretty easy and easy to flip the pages so okay i hope that helps but d rings are really nice too um ran out of the sheets what are the name of them so vicky yeah those are the um, I think they're called sticker collecting sheets and they're from stickers and stuff. Okay. All righty. I think we got most of the questions. Are you guys ready for a giveaway? Let's do some fun giveaway. <laughs> All right. So um, let's go. I What I did is I went through the POP Facebook group and um, yeah, thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, boy, that yeah, I'm feeling much better too. And I'm just loving the rain in Southern California. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, for the sticker pages. Yeah, they're the, um, I think it's like got a pink square background and then like there's some sheets um, kind of spread around the top of it. So look for a pink square. Those are the sticker backing paper. Okay, all right, you got it. Um, here we go. Let's do one more second here. I'm going to get to my wheel of names. And let me do a screen share. And here we are. So I counted 44 different people who put a, um, a picture of a cart up for everyone to kind of see and talk about. And so thank you to everyone who did that and shared your amazing organization strategies with all of us. It was so fun. And so I'm going to do some shuffling. I like to shuffle a lot. So they were first in um, alphabetical order, but now they're all shuffled up and I'm going to do two spins and give away two $50 US either product codes or um, if you're outside the U.S., um, we'll just figure out how to get that to you. So here we go, friends. And I'm hoping this is going to work and share the name. There we go. Marsha Porter. Congratulations. And I need to write this down. <laughs> All right. Marsha. And I, um, I will find you on Facebook, but you're, you're going to need to look for a message from me since um, that's how we're going to get in, in contact is through Facebook, through the pop group. Okay, so I'm going to just shuffle up again and spin again. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Oh, and even though it says all September orders, just disregard that. <laughs> All right, Jane Schneider. Okay, here we go. J Y N E. Okay, do we have anybody? Were either of you guys here today? Congratulations. I don't know if anybody was, any of you guys were here. Woo, Marsha, you were here. Yay! Congrats. All right, and. I don't know, was Jane on tonight or today? Okay, so I hope you guys had a little um, fun with that. And again, if you'd like to see those carts in action, just ask to join the Progress on Projects Facebook group. There are some great ideas in there. And so thank you once again for playing along and having some fun. 
Next week, we are going to talk um, a little bit about a few things. I want to share kind of how I have my some more of my scrapbooking supplies. So we're going to kind of go down scrapbooking aisle next. How I have some of those and some of my favorite organizers that fit into some of you know the cubbies. So it's kind of hard to come up with a general term for that. Maybe it's just like some of my favorite organ or some favorite organizers for your craft room. Now that, you know, we've kind of had all this time to think about and use, you know, my cart is my favorite tool, of course, one of my favorite organizers, but also finding those little things that fit in all those special places. That is also, I think, really interesting to find out. So, that's what we will be talking about next week. Thank you all for hopping on. And um, yeah, Sue says she just joined. So welcome and uh, take a look around. It's really fun to see how everybody thinks and what they need to have, you know, very close by and in their cart. But um and the Facebook, how do you access the Facebook group? Just search for Progress on Projects, um, the POP community. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, so thank you all. I think I got everybody's question. If not, just hopefully leave a question. Um, it's better to leave it on YouTube. I can find those um, comments a little easier. Uh, I love reading your comments. So if you have any ideas or ways to help us organize, please leave those. Leave a comment for us. And I appreciate all of you being here today on this rainy Tuesday here in Southern California. And we will see you next time um, for Tidy Up Tuesday in one more week. Also, for all of you Arizona folks, I will be at the Pinners Convention this weekend. So I've got to get ready for that and go celebrate my daughter's birthday. So we're going to just have a good day um, being together. And I think we're going to go get Manny Petties. That'll be funny. Fun. <laughs> okay. Um, and have a beautiful rest of your Tuesday or Wednesday if you're in Australia. And we'll be back in touch soon. Bye for now. Take care.